Yeah. Hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. Get right with you. I'ma get right with you. Bad bitches, fuck up, they dismiss it. Bang. Bang, really hit it. Take no pictures. What's up guys, it's your boy Top the Boss back with another video today. Today I wanted to try something new out where I'll talk during the video and today we're going to be talking about the future of the Avatar game Avatar and the Four Nations. If you like my content make sure you like and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications and all new videos and other than that let's start. Anyways, for those wondering, I haven't been really feeling well recently, and also, um, uh, yeah, that's why I haven't been uploading lately, and also, I've just been got the game Arsenal playing in the background, if you're wondering what the game is, and if you want to check it out, the link will be in the description below. Anyways, now today we're going to be talking about the game Avatar and the Four Nations and I'm going to be saying how the owner Cyan is kind of killing off the game himself. I used to be really hyped for this but now my energy and will to play the game and determination is kind of faded away and I'm going to be talking why he's kind of killing the game and what he could do to um, make the game better because if I say on this Discord, no one's gonna listen. So if I thought about if I post this on YouTube, more people will understand and he might understand what's going on with this game. Anyways, recently Sign has made the decision to um, make all the discords for the closed community version of the game unofficial mean demoting all the nation leaders and kind of making the nations no need so all the hard work we've done hosting trainings and all of that was for nothing as they're going to rework everything anyway this kind of kills everyone's determination to work for the game and it's made lots of my friends and other people in the community leave because um, they just don't have the will to play the game anymore and it kind of does just like throwing our work in the trash and I think it, um, Cyan or, and Zeke or his team needs to know that as well because this is starting to push other people away from the game Currently Cyan has said that um, for now, that the um, what's it called the game will stay unofficial until the the full game is released and it'll become official. And he's telling people to rank up now because it will be a lot harder to rank up in the game once it becomes official due to all the new people and the reformation. But I think what he's doing is not really helping everyone stay active. As I've looked at a lot of nations and they are really inactive now to do trainings and events and it's not encouraging people to join the community because they join and there's no training to rank up so pushing more people away I think he should be inspiring us to do more instead of telling us that the discords are unofficial and telling us when it does become official that it's going to be a lot harder instead of completely shutting it off this could help with activity and making the game more popular and everything like that. So it's not really like I have a problem with Cyan but I'm not against him in any way because he has been kind to me, um, he hasn't done anything against me except uh, I've been permabanned from the main Discord for joking about QR codes. Uh, it was a clear joke, I told some kid do you want a QR code that um, blows up your computer and I wrote JK and I got permabanned for it. It, it said banned but no one said permabanned so I'm not really sure about that but other than that I don't really have anything against Cyan it's just that I don't like the way he's handled things and he's just making the game um, pushing people away from the game because the game is a really good concept and idea and I enjoy 
the watching it but he hasn't given us a release date or anything you could at least tell us if the game will be out this year or next year year or something because you've got to do something soon because there's a lot of fans that keep going away and in the end you're gonna you're gonna struggle with the game and it'd be really helpful for the communities and everything if you give us some sort of release date so we get more excited for the game this can restart activity and other ideas and stuff like that Anyways, the reason I'm making this video is because I really love the avatar of the Four Nations community but recently I'm a captain ranking um, the Earth Nation which is like one of the top 5 ranks and um, all of this stuff has really pushed me away from the game like I, I used to play this game so much every day but recently it's pushed, I've been pushed away and I've, um, other communities have catched my eye of what they're doing instead because it's a lot better because I have I have no intel on when the game's coming out we don't really get many sneak peeks in the game so we don't know what's going on we don't know how much has been completed I don't know you could give us a percentage or something we know nothing our nations have just become unofficial to the game comes out so all our hard work is gone so you can kind of see where I'm coming from about the lack of will to play the game but other than that I, it's not, I do not dislike Cyan that's what I'm trying to say the game is an amazing game amazing scripted they put all their time and hard work into it I'm just saying how they can handle the game better so they don't end up losing a lot of their fans so this video is really about the future of this game and I think the future will be okay for now there's other Avatar games like Avatar Legacy and there's another one that um, Infinasu or IB made did a video on whatever these are other good Avatar games and I'm just saying if they don't get their stuff together they're gonna really do push the community away as I really enjoy playing the game it's just just the owner and the way the thing is handled I just dislike and I'm going to carry on posting avatar videos on this channel and I'll make my channel very based on it but I don't really want to make a lot too many videos on it just in case the game dies so I'm just doing this video to inform people about um, the game and about how what I thought about it and um, what's going on recently and why everyone's leaving and yeah that's really it and you guys uh, thank you if you've watched this whole video okay if you've watched the whole video I'll put a link here in the description because I'm making a hunter hunter game it's currently only me making it and I'm only looking for maybe one other person maybe a scripter to help me and that's it I can do all the rest of the stuff and I'll put the discord link below and let's say the first 15 people to join the discord will have a tester role when the game goes into testing currently you can come and easily check the game and the maps open to everyone so currently uh, you can check it out but first 15 people to check out the discord um, get a tester role also to tell you disclaimer I do not have anything against Cyan or his team I'm just telling you my thoughts about the game and other than that I'll see you in the next one